Chuck Todd is NBC's political director and, of course, the moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, good morning. You've got a great morning. lineup Thanks, this sir. morning to talk about everything that's going on right now, beginning with Ukraine, of course, where President Biden is putting more military support in. He has rallied the world mm -hmm. in opposition to Vladimir Putin. We got a jobs report on Friday that showed unemployment down to 3.6 percent, clawing back in terms of the number of jobs lost to pre-pandemic levels. And yet, when you look at his poll numbers, you see inflation right there. When people are paying 425 a gallon at the pump and they've got to take out a loan to the, go to the grocery store, seems to be all they're focused on, and you can understand why. Look, it's, it was all over our poll when we saw it that the cost of living issues are, are overtaking everything else. I mean, you know, the jobs picture, Willie, this statistic, 11 straight months of 400,000 yeah. uh, or more jobs gained. It was the longest streak since the 30s. Now we're in a similar situation, digging out of Great Depression, digging out of the COVID situation. But that is, look, some of this is sort of why does the public put this blame on Biden? You know, is it do, should they be messaging more on this? That's going to be a debate, I think, that, that Democrats have with themselves for some time. But I do think the events on the ground force him to not essentially uh, sell and explain why this is such a weird economy. And it is. It's never been a better time to find a job, yeah. pure and simple. And it's also never been a, a harder time to do things like buy a car or a house or things like that. Yeah, 3.6. Unemployment is a good number, but when you're at a 40-year high in inflation, that doesn't seem to matter right. much. Chuck, thanks so much. As I mentioned, we will bite. look for more this morning on Meet the Press when Chuck sits down for an exclusive interview with former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, as well as the current Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.